welcome back to my channel. This is my second video. Yay! Um, on my last video when I uploaded it and I put um, a picture on face, uh, Instagram, um, I asked for some video ideas before I sort of get back into things. So I'm going to do a few like um, common videos to get myself back into it before I start doing some makeup tutorials. Um, so I got asked by one of the girls that used to follow me um, on my previous channel um, if I could do like an updated skincare routine um, so I'm going to do that now um, before I'm in the last couple of years is only really when I've started to take proper care of my skin I used to be really gross and go to bed in my makeup and just it's just not nice and then I got to the point where I literally can't go to bed now with my makeup on it feels horrible and grubby even after a night out, no matter how much I've had to drink, I will take my face off because I just, I don't know, it just feels horrible. So I've got back, I've got into the routine of things and to be fair, my skin has cleared up a lot from it. Um, I don't use any kind of expensive skincare. Um, I just use stuff that you can get in off the high street, super drug, boots, that kind of thing. Um, and also I'm going to show you which fake tan I use as um, a, a couple of people have commented on my pictures in the past about um, what tan I use. Um, so in the morning when I get up um, I've already got a clean face but sometimes I'll have a little bit of um, eye makeup residue still like my mascara if it's still on my lashes there or something um, and I wake up with like, quite sore eyes so um, I feel like using this particular product um, helps waking me up and not make me feel as tired. Um, so this first one is PS Makeup Remover and this is the eye makeup remover from Primark believe it or not but it, it says it contains cucumber and for all skin types. Um, it's really really nice it's quite oily so it lifts like that last little bit of mascara and really makes you feel awake. Um, it is a bit greasy so if you do have greasy skin maybe stay away from this kind of product um however it does feel quite nice on the skin um especially if you use it and then maybe wash your skin afterwards or um i guess you could probably put your moisturizer over the top but it works for me so and it was only one pounds fifty but i picked this up from primark and it's not really gonna smell it's kind of it kind of smells like baby wipes like Johnson's baby wipes um, but for £1.50 you can't really go wrong and you only need like a little bit on a cotton wool pad so um, I really recommend that if you just want something just to help you get that last little bit off your eyes um, so that's what I do in, um, in the morning when I wake up um, and then I use my moisturiser um, this is the Garnier Skin Naturals Essentials Hydrating Day Care Moisturiser um, I picked this up from Superdrug I think and it smells really fresh. This kind of, these kind of products kind of make me remind me of my grandma just because when um, she puts her makeup on she always puts moisturiser on first or uses like a tinted moisturiser um, and it just smells like hers it's quite nice. <laughs> um, but this is the 50ml I think this is for dry skin as well because um, I like to have a nice like moisturising moisturiser. Um, I think this is about £4, £5 maybe. I think I got it from Superdrug. I'm not quite sure. But um, I'll put a link down below where you can get it from anyway. So that's that one. Um, once I've done that, I can go and do my makeup and um, everything. Go out, do my do my day. And then um, at, the, at night, I'll come home. I'll take my makeup off. Um, and for that, I use my, my micellar. Micellar whatever you want to call it, water. Um, this is by Garnier. It's the, um, I think it's, it's the, oh, the water for sensitive skin. It removes makeup, cleanses and soothes, no rinsing, no perfume. Um, I love this stuff. I can't really fault it. Um, I think I got this from Primark as well at the same time as I bought that and this was £2.50. I'm not sure whether it was cheaper in Super Sugar Boots or if it's cheaper in Primark but I picked up another one of these anyway. Um, it says 200 uses because it's 400 mils, but if you haven't tried this yet, definitely try it because I think it's amazing. 
um, then I just use this over a cotton wool and take the majority of my makeup off. Again, if I've had um, like heavier makeup on my eyes, then I will go back in with this just to take that last little bit off um, before I go to bed. Um, once I've done that, again, I go back in with my moisturiser, put that on. Um, if I have any spots, or I can feel any spots come in, I use this little guy. It is the T-Zone spot zapping stick it's not focusing um you can get this from like body care and places like that i think that's where i got this one from it's just a tea tree stick um just helps to dry out the spot bring it out dry it out get rid of it so i put that on if i've got any spots um i'm not sure how much this was because i got this a few months ago so i think it's about two to three pounds um, but again if i can find it i'll put a link below to where you can buy it from um, also, before I go to bed, I like to put moisturiser, well not moisturiser, but I like to make my lips moisturised. So, um, for that one I just have a Nivea SPF Smooth and Protect Lip Seal. It's just a bog standard lip seal. No scent. Well, it's got a bit of a scent. Kind of smells a bit like Vicks, if you know what Vicks smells like. But I think I got this in a set of three. Um, I have no idea how much this was because I got this a while ago. So, um, but any lip, lip seal, moisturise them lips. Um, so that's it for my skincare. Like I said, I don't spend a fortune on my skin. Um, I don't feel like I need to because I've not. I'm quite lucky and I don't have any sort of blemishes or dry skin issues. So, um, but I will try and help you if you want me to find stuff for you. I don't know up to you um the only other thing that i use on my skin for everything else is my fake tan now if you've been following me for ages you'll know that i'm a big fake tan geek um there's nothing wrong with pale skin or anything like that but i just feel a bit better especially because i've got dark hair now i feel like if i don't have it on i literally look like morticia um so I do like a little glow and now that we're in heading into the autumn winter months um, there's not as much sun, not going on holiday so I like to keep my little, my bronzed, my bronzed body is kind of bronzed <laughs> um, but for that um, I now use this, it's the Rimmel Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse and this is the medium matte one they do do like a glittery shimmer one but I don't like that one um, it says developed in one hour, lasts up to seven days. It does last a lot longer, I feel, than St. Moritz because that one seems to go patchy after like two days, whereas this one seems to last a bit longer and to scrub it off, you're not like making yourself red raw. Um, um, I picked this up from Superdrug, I think. I think it was about £4.50, so I picked two up. It's only £9, but it lasts me quite a while. Um, some people ask me if I do my full body, I don't. The only time I do my full body is if I'm going out and I'm wearing a dress or shorts and my legs are out or something like that. Because um, I feel what's the point in doing stuff that people can't see. So I just do my top half. That is it. Um, unless I go out and then I do my legs. But they never come out. So, um, so that's that one. Um, if you're looking for a new fake tan, I definitely recommend this. It's really, really good. Um, if you want me to do a fake tan collection, because I have got a lot, and I do alternate between this one and a couple of the other ones, let me know and I will do that for you, or do my fake tan routine. So drop me a comment below if you want that. Um, and then I just apply that with... Sorry, this is really gross. Um, just with my little tanning mitt. I think I got this also from Superdrug. I think it was like £3, which I think is extortion. But I needed one, so I had to buy it. Um, but I think you can get them for like a pound, two pounds. It depends where you go. Um, but any old mitt would do. I did just use a sock, but it got to the point where it kept going through my hands and I just got fed up of it. So I spent that little bit more on a little mitt. Um, so that is all really for my skincare and tanning routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, like I said, Leave me comments below of what videos you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!